اكسلان ولا تو هنحاول نفك حاليا الرننج تول فيرست ثينج يو جاتا دو از ريليس ذا تول يو جاتا اوبن ات حط التول بالفايسر وبعدين براد بتحط راد هون وبتشده لحتى تفتحها من هذا الطرف ميك ذا جاب ميك شور ذيز دوجز ار لوكد ان If they don't latch all the way, you could be messing around, they snap closed. The fact that you have this dog here, it's just to open it up to the inside. The fact that it's inside, not to the outside. It should be retracted. Okay, now we're going to put the dog in the vise. I can knock this loose. You got to be careful not to tighten too hard on this because it can smash an egg and then your tool would be as you turn it it'd be hard to open and it have tight spots متأكد لما تحطها بالفايس ما تشد عليها كثير من هون لانه اذا شديت كثير ممكن تنتني من جوا وتصير تايت جوا ما فيك تفتحها بعدين can you push this back push the core back so you can reach the core pin رجع الكور لورا مشان توصل للبن من هاي الفتحه اللي هون عشان تقدر تشوفها من جوا get your point Then you release it here and bite on it here. Another thing to look for in these tools is sometimes a punch has to be put across here to tighten and untighten this. And it can leave a little rolled edge. So always make sure that there's no burr right here. That the fish neck of the lock has to slide on this and it could get snagged on it. It should always be filed, but you never know. Something to look out for. Uh, فالحديد احيانا بيضربوه على هذا السن بيعمل هون نتوءات بتاكد تماما انه هي النتوءات كلها تشيلها امسحها مشان سهوله التركيب وفكها مره ثانيه. Another thing is if they use big teeth vices like the one over there it'll leave wrench marks and burrs here also can stop the fish neck if it's, if it's snow the inside of the fish neck the more you use it these burr the fish neck it's all things to look out for. بعض الناس كمان بيستخدموا بالبرشات الفايس تبعهم له اسنان، هاي الاسنان ممكن تشد هون وتترك نتوءات لما بيحاولوا يفكوا هي كمان هاي النتوءات حاول تتخلص منها تماما. Heavy trash whales, those can get bent too. So, something. Another thing, we use a pipe wrench right here. And if your core don't go back and forth easy, and this has to slide, sometimes there could be a burr here if the pipe wrench is used too much on this. See how it's tight. So we're gonna put this across. couple of turns because when you unscrew this the spring's gonna kick this off so it doesn't hit you just make sure your shirt's not here 
بعد ما فتحت هاي رجع هاي دخلها بس بشكل بسيط لانه لما تفتح القطعة الثانية السبرينج الموجود جوا ممكن يطلع لبرا بقوة يعني بعنف مثل ما شفتوا حاليا spring and your spring retainer. When you pinch the back of the doll, just come up with it, drop it down, it should release. You got lug segments here. The lug segments go in a certain way. It should be, the angles should be up in this way. We'll do that on assembly too. So pull this out. The bottom mandrel. Now these located all come out. Shake it. Split segments. So this spring, some of the springs you can pull out through the window on these big ones. You gotta unwind them at the top. And that's the spring. And that's it, dog retainer, spring retainer, everything's cleaned out. Boom. That's it, that's disassembly. Assembling the X line. So, first thing I do is take the lug segments, and it's like a little house. You got a little angle on one side. Flat on the other. Keep a lock segment or make sure in the top of the machine from the top. This will go as upright. Yep. And yeah. keep it with the windows up, threads down, and you stick it in there. And it's slot. It should fit flush all the way across. It shouldn't stick out of here at all. The other one, the other side, same thing. Just rub your finger with the grease to hold it in there. And lube everything, it stops it from rusting. So then you flip it and put it aside. Then you're gonna take your dog spring. You wanna kinda smash it. Make sure these springs are known for crossing. So you have to smash it to put everything together. You don't want a spring to be favoring one side or the other. Every spring's made a little different, not always consistent. And you just weave it in there. You want to make sure the tail of the spring don't end up in a window. So sometimes you have to turn it a little. Pull it down. But the spring, the spring is trying to hold it like it's holding it. You can see that the all the wires are on the same direction. And when you open the spring, the dog spring is inside. At the end of the spring, try not to be in the window. Open it inside so it doesn't come out at the end of the spring. Thread it side down, and you're gonna take your spring, press it down till you're on the top of it. You can take a hacksaw blade, any kind of flat piece of metal, go across, push it all the way down. You got little notches down there, and it doesn't like to stay in. If you don't make too much, don't bang on the table, it'll stay down there. And then you're gonna take your split segments, and you're gonna grease the back of them. And the big side's gonna go down, small side's to the top. So when you put it in there, it's gonna end up like this. To where if you put it in upside down, it won't line up. It won't make a flat. If you put it right, there'll be a flat. And this is where the spring's gonna push against is the back sides of these. بتضغط السبرينج لتحت بقطع المعدنية هاي الفلات وبتتركها تحت هي في نبتش بتوقف عليه بعدين السبلت سيجمنت هذيك مثل ما ورجاك انه الفتحة تبع السبلت سيجمنت بتكون المسافة الطويلة من تحت والمسافة القصيرة من فوق and when you slide it in there, you just place it and press both sides 
it'll make a suction to the wall. And then you take these, and if you ever buy new ones of these and you have to replace these, make sure there's not sharp edges. You just buff them smooth and around so it, it slides, because this will slide on the, the manual. So you don't want it to be sharp. Uh, make sure the atraf hai tabaa ma tkun had ma tkun haul tamsaha out the sandpaper haul tkhafif min al hadita hon. And the more you use the tool, this latches on this. So the old tools, this could get rounded off or this could get flared out. So if you ever repairing a tool, look out for this shoulder to be still smooth but sharp, not completely rounded off. Same with this one. You don't want it to be folded out or completely gone until 45. Another thing I forgot to look out for with these is to put them on the table. Put them on a flat surface. If they rock, if they're twisted from the tool going down hole and being a little crooked, these can get twisted. To put this on the table, if it don't rock like this one, it's good. If it rocks, it's twisted, it needs to be replaced. كمان ممكن تتأكد إن هاي القطعة مسالمة إنه بتحطها على flat table على طاولة مستوية لازم ما تتحرك هاي معناها إنه هي ما مطعوجة وما التفت مع الاستخدام down hole. هاي بتتأكد إنه هي سليمة. So then, take your locator dogs, and slide them. So the longer it takes you to do it, the more they will slide in the window. So all you do is just push it back. Push them back out the way. Slide this in there. This is a little tricky part. Sometimes you gotta grab them from the top. Also speed it, because I already took it out, put it back, it's being a little past it. Alright, from the top, it should look like that. The back of the dogs are lined up, everything's. Alright, let me dig the dog, dig from the inside, from the inside. وكيف ورجاك إنه الحواف تبع الدق هاي التحتانية نزلت بالفتحات الموجودة على الطرفين. Take it, hang it, hold it from falling back out. Take the other one, top one's a little easier. Pop it in, hold it with the magnet. Yeah, but put the magnet, the magnet is on the two sides, the first and the second, so that you can see that when you deal with it, the dog will not come back out or come out of its place. The dog shouldn't be kicked in if they if they fold in like in a uh, pulling position, there would be. You wouldn't be able to slide it on there. I feel like a dog. Ma lazim yikun dakhil la juwa. Lazim flat ma barra. La no zikan dakhil la juwa ma hana arafin dakhil la taat tani. So then you take thread it side up, thread it side up. The thread min fo, the thread min fo, bid dakhila. Don't line the dogs up with the windows. Put them away from the windows, less things to catch. Khali la dog mo ma al window al mojude hon. Khali ma al taraf hada. You slide it all the way so it sits on the flat bar. Pull the flat bar out. Make sure the spring didn't crisscross in any way. It still looks perfectly round. Nothing fell off. And you just slide it down, kind of twist it a little bit as you go down. If it gets caught going down, one of the lug segments might have came out and this is setting on it. So make sure that they're stuck in there flush. Lay it down. A thing to do on the smaller tools is take the lug segments and push them in because on the small tools, they'll fall out. And you take your spring housing, core spring, slide it on. Take your fishnet, slide it on, compress it. off compress it till this starts and then you start screwing this the opposite way
I'm screwing this all the way down. Now you have to tighten these two windows up so they are completely flush. Don't put your finger in it, cut your finger off. So just still chucked on this, press. Don't be pressing, put your finger, feel smooth. Take your core pin, slide it across. Should go back and forth freely. No obstructions, no burrs, no nothing. Yeah, I'm going to put this here. If it wasn't aligned with the other one, the inside one here, you need to do it again just to make sure that they're smooth with each other until you get into it. What do you call this one? Core pin. The core pin. Until you get into the core pin, you can get into it. Then I like to take this, turn it to where the dogs are like this and like this. Clamp on it, remember not too tight, but tight enough not to come out of the vise. Then you gotta open it, this is a piece of aluminum. You can grab some of them here, but it's sharp. All right, it should latch. And then they're not in the nipple, so they don't always latch fully. So. You make sure they're closed all the way. You can tighten this. Take your retainer dogs, a little grease on them. Make sure these aren't burned from assembly or disassembly, press them in, they'll stick with the grease. One side, they only go one way. One side is big, one side small. The small side, there's a groove in here where it locks in. So it should sit, if you go too far, it won't lock, you come too far, it won't lock, you gotta find that little groove to set it in. So small side in. So you just, Press it, I started the front, push it back, and you can feel it, like right there, pops in. And you just press the back to where they're sitting in flush. When you open the guard dog, it's like there's a groove above. This groove. This groove, when you open it, you try to move it above or below until the groove enters the groove above. You open it above, try to feel it. You open it above, بس تحسه ندخل لجوه خلاص ما بقت تتحرك هذا بيكون مكانه الصحيح. Take the core, whole side, style side grabs a lot, slide it in. Shouldn't really hit anything. A little bit of heat, just kind of shake it all the way back. Find your hole. Got to put the big side up. Put the hole. You just line up holes basically. Should look like that, you know. Get off a little. Put your rope in. Hold it with your finger so it don't move too much. It'll hit the. Uh... It should be flush on both sides before she got a flip. Back and forth. Then you can release the tool. The tool has to be all the way forward for the tool to let go. Release the tool. Open the tool. And push the back of the locator dogs. And cock this at the same time. Release the tool. And it's pretty flow. In the tool and then push the front of the locator dogs to make sure it's latched open all the way. When it's in running down hole in the nipple, the nipple will catch the profile and the nipple will push the locator dogs in. Outside of the nipple, it's grease and all the thickness will stop it from going. It'll just kind of barely catch. So that's it, fully assembled.